Hi everyone, Luca from LGM Photography and if you've seen my last video you would have seen that I was doing an unboxing of the Nikon D3S uh, which I now have in my hand with the 24-70mm to 70 millimeter. Um, I've done a few tests with it, I've had it for a couple of days, the unboxing wasn't actually a real unboxing uh, as when I got the box I just wanted to open it and have a look in there and grab the camera so I just kind of did it just to show people what is actually in the box. Um, I've taken a few pictures of us. Uh, I saw between 800 and 12,000 and I just cannot believe how much the, the quality of the picture even at ISO 10,000. A bit noisy but uh, looking at it on Lightroom I was able to just jump the nose reduction uh, of about 5 to 10 uh, units and the picture looked uh, great, really, really amazing. So I've got a photo shoot over the weekend. I don't really want to do any more review about it at the moment. I really want to get it on the field and give it a try to see what I think. Um, so far, what I think it's... <laughs> The camera is lighter than a D700 with a grip, uh, very lightly, but it is a little lighter. I uh, also believe that it's maybe a bit smaller than the, believe the D700, it's a little bigger here. Uh, I will do a good comparison with it um, in the next few weeks. Uh, the other thing, obviously there is no pop-up flash, so that's something I'm going to have to kind of test, uh, trying to use the master, uh, one of my SP900 as a master. Uh, maybe I would get an SU800 to be able to control my flash, but uh, I think the idea would be to get a couple of pocket with it and uh, being able to control it with uh, much more option than the SU800 because the SU800 works exactly the same as the flash. It's got to be within the uh, view of the flash to be able to work. If it's behind a wall or anything like that, it just it just won't work. So. Uh, that's not really convenient for me. I really want to upgrade the system to be able to uh, reach uh, flashes that I can't see, for example. Uh, so yeah, in all and for all, amazing camera. Um, the only thing, it doesn't come with an, a plastic cover. So that's something that I had to purchase uh, extra online. But apart from this, it's nice to have the little screen here to let you know about the ISO quality white balance. Um, at the top here, now the flash setting, marketing, and L, which is, seem to be the lock for the speed. Um, I, I don't know, I've never used uh, this, this option in any of my cameras before, so I suppose it may be good for sport photography if you're trying to keep the same speed I, I don't know I've, I'm gonna have to play around um, I'm not gonna give you any false information if I don't know uh, the battery is obviously the ENL 4A which is uh, probably the best battery that Nikon does at the moment uh, because it provides you with uh, over 4000 pictures uh, full battery will give you 4400 pictures um, so, a very, very good quality, uh, I mean quality quantity. So, no, um, so far very happy, I'd say. Um, my first feeling, it, the camera feels amazing, it really, really does feel good. Um, the compartment here, uh, the space between the top and the bottom is, um, it's got like a good, good grip for your fingers. You, when you got it, you really have it, it it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to use it and uh, do more reviews, so subscribe if you want to see any more videos, if you have any questions let me know, I'll be more than happy to answer and try to uh, obviously uh, do a few tests. I am planning to get out with the camera and do a few uh, tests outside to actually show you on the field how it is. So yeah, subscribe and um, yeah, more videos to come. Cheers!